This is a diagram of a very basic hydraulic system. Hydraulic diagrams are always drawn with the components in the de-energized state. As the electric motor turns the hydraulic pump, fluid from the tank is drawn through the filter and into the line. The pump's only function is to create flow. Pressure in the hydraulic system is created by resistance to flow. The amount of resistance is controlled by the relief valve setting. When the system pressure reaches the spring setting of the relief valve, any additional fluid is returned to the tank. As the hydraulic fluid reaches the screw motor, it begins to turn. After the fluid passes through the motor, it returns to the tank. Any leakage fluid is returned to the tank via the drain line. This is how a combination hydraulic pump is represented. These types of pumps are usually found on older types of injection molding machines. A combination hydraulic pump consists of two pumps which are driven by a single electric motor. Note that there are two pump symbols on the diagram. The larger represents the high volume, low pressure pump. The smaller symbol represents the low volume, high pressure pump. As this diagram shows, the entire assembly is contained within a single enclosure. This assembly contains two relief valves, one for each pump. It also has a check valve to ensure the oil flows in the correct direction. Newer machines utilize variable displacement pumps with more efficiency. Variable displacement pumps are discussed in our advanced hydraulic program.